Welcome to this Zapier tutorial for beginners. Whether you're looking to automate repetitive tasks or supercharge your workflows with AI, you're in the right place. Let's dive into how to use Zapier step-by-step. -step. Zapier is an automation platform that connects your favorite apps, like Gmail, Google Sheets, Slack, ChatGPT, and over 6,000 more. It lets you create workflows called Zaps that run in the background and save you hours every week. Think of it as a digital assistant that never sleeps. To get started, go to zapier.com and sign up for a free account. Once you're logged in, you'll see the Zapier dashboard. At the top, click Create Zap to begin building your first automation. Let's create a simple automation. For example, every time you receive a new email in Gmail with an attachment, you want that file saved to Google Drive. Step one, set the trigger, choose Gmail as the trigger app. Trigger event, new email with attachment. Connect your Gmail account and test the trigger. Step two, set the action. Choose Google Drive as the action app. Action event. Upload file. Connect your Drive account and map the file from Gmail. Click Test and then Publish Zap. Boom. Now it runs automatically every time. Want to generate an AI response every time a new form is submitted? Set the trigger as New Google Form Response. Then set the action to Chat GPT or Open AI. You can feed the form input directly into the AI and receive a custom written reply, summary, or even a social media post. AI plus automation equals a productivity powerhouse. Zapier isn't limited to just one trigger and one action. You can add multiple steps, like delays, filters, and conditions. For example, If you only want to post to Slack when the email contains specific keywords, add a filter step. Or you can delay the action by an hour using the delay function. This makes your automation smarter and more efficient. Not sure where to begin? Use Zapier's pre-made templates. Just search for your apps and pick a workflow. Customize it to fit your needs and you're good to go. Here are a few quick tips. Name your zaps clearly so you can manage them easily. Always test before publishing. 
Monitor your task usage if you're on a free plan. Use folders to stay organized. And that's your beginner's guide to using Zapier. If this helped, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more automation and AI tutorials. Now go build something awesome.